beautiful day in central Maine. Friday. It's cash in day. We got the RAV4 on the trailer. And right in front of us, we got the 04 Honda. Race ready. Cat delete. Fixed up the back. A few screws, little tape. Don't look too bad. Just cruising the back roads of Maine. I want to cash these things in. We got a few things in the back. Wheels, couple batteries, couple cats, couple things, you know. I'm towing with the um, high mileage Silverado. No mileage. Yeah. For one, it's incredibly good on gas. Nice, comfortable ride. Plus, Toyota's uh, very light tow. Not much weight to it at all. And, uh, you know, there's no need to be uh, pulling it with a big block dually or a high performance farm truck. So, take a nice cruise. No money spent on the Honda. It's already uh, already had half a tank of fuel in it, so we're just burning that. AC's ice cold in that, and uh, it's about about 80, 85 degrees up here. Beautiful day. Just passing. Everyone wants to go too fast. Going going over 50. Through the miracle of time, it's the next day, Saturday, another beautiful day in the 70s. Cashed in all the junk yesterday, everything went good, the Honda ran good, no problems, dropped everything off, sold everything. Today, just really kind of relaxing. Had some lunch, looked down uh, Marketplace. I saw five dually bud wheels with two 15, 85, 16s. And it said $50, or best offer. I said, it has to be a mistake. I messaged the guy. And he said, no, 50 bucks, no dry rot. So, hop back in the old Silverado. It's about an hour and a half ride, but for that much, that's just crazy. Look at the tread on these. I mean... Those are like as good as you can get. Even got a couple of freebie studded snows. Big 16s. This is the same size I've been looking for. It was on the back of the dually and uh, they're very dry rotted on that, but very expensive to buy new. And um, I just couldn't uh, 
could never find that size. It's a, it's a very skinny, tall tire, you know, and it's like 10 ply, so that's what you want. And uh, I ended up getting a couple, the fronts were really bad on it, and I had to go with uh, a shorter tire, and I always, I hate the way it looks. So now I got enough to uh, do what I got to do like brand new $50 eight tires it's a nice it's a wonderful day when that happens what I'm talking about we got two 1585s on the back see there uh, the tread is not too bad right but there's a lot of dry cracking on these tires and uh, you know there's a couple of good ones but for the most part they're very old and, uh, and then on the front I scored a, a set. I scored four of these. These uh, sale ones, uh, load range E. But these are 225 75s, so they're uh, you know a lot shorter. You really got to look at it, but depending on the way it's sitting, you can tell. It's a much shorter sidewall on the tire than the back, so. I had to do that because it was, uh, I basically scored four of those tires for free where I worked before and uh, had to drive this truck many miles and the fronts were just bald nothing left so I had to do something but you got this uh, you know it's transforce but you can see see all that sidewall cracking but I mean it really doesn't matter because you know these are some are 8 ply some are 10 ply which means the the rubber is very thick so you know a little bit of cracking on there um, you know, it doesn't really matter too much, but, you know, once you start really loading stuff and towing a lot of weight, then that's when it comes into play. There's the other two matching ones to the front. Those are the 225s. They're uh, really nice tires, but that size there... See, everything fits together. Everything, everything comes together in the end because that size is what the RV has. Uh, the backs are all really nice. They're all like new. And uh, the fronts, the same thing. See, nice tread, but very slight dry rotting going on so and another nice thing is these are all just bud wheels see all these wheels they fit on everything that goes on there those go on there that goes on there they, they all go together so I'll have enough of these to make the dually all the 215s make them all nice nice tread tall all back to normal and then I can take those two that are on the front of there I don't even have to take the tires off the rims I can just switch them around and put those two on there if I want and then everything's just wonderful you know I 
guy had a whole pile of tires. Most of them were junk, but uh, these were still got the little twiddlies on them. Studded snows. These are 245 75s, which is uh, like a step under what this has. This has 265 75s. And, uh, you know, they're not great. But I figured maybe for the winter, you, could, you know, get a couple of wheels and slap those on, and then you could have a couple of couple of rippers for the Silverado for the winter time. This is just a random. It was a random 245 I saw on the pile. I took it. He said, uh, you know, he's getting rid of all of them anyway, so. Lots of new sandpaper. Lots more sanding to do. sitting in there. Ooh, it's cold. That's cold. Oh. Summertime cans. Champagne. Cheers. Oh. Stocking up. Need more. Need all the spray paint. Ooh, who's hiding back there? <laughs> <laughs> 